It was Friday. It was the first week of sale camp, and Molly complained to me about her foot hurting. I said, it's probably your shoes, so suck it up, buttercup. She was increasingly in pain throughout the rest of the week, and by through doctor's appointments, emergency room appointments, and um, going to being told by a doctor that we need to go to the downtown uh, University Hospital uh, emergency room, we kind of thought something more was probably a part of this. And uh, it wasn't a broken bone in her foot, it wasn't her shoes. By the following Friday, we were diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. <laughs> this idea came about as a picnic table outside a bar. Um, kids were having lunch, parents were talking, and we had a conversation. Why don't we find a race in the Great Lakes and put together an all-kids crew? With, like, putting this to the gym and then bringing it all the way back. The Sandusky Islands race is a huge deal, and this year the Leukemia Cup, which is an amazing national regatta and foundation, got involved and they combined forces to put together a pretty amazing race in the Great Lakes. And they're working their way through it. Um, there's some initial chippiness. It's on the main. The Halliers on the main. The Halliers on the main. Go, 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 go. Yes. And these kids are very excited about the opportunity to go out and see how they can do against um, adults, uh, pros. This isn't a kid's race. Not only do these kids have an amazing opportunity to come together and, and try to win this race and compete in this race, it has a it has a, a deeper deeper layer that um, really has hit most of us. One of our members of our crew, Molly, uh, was diagnosed with leukemia when she was a kid, and uh, so when this crew came together, and we knew that we could put a kids crew together to help fight and raise money for blood cancer with leukemia, um, it absolutely made sense that this was a, a mission we were going to go after and, and try to raise this money and try to support uh, one of our own on the crew, uh, which is Molly. I know initially we were told that we would be hovering between like maybe 16 to 20 knots of breeze and the gusts we might see up above 20. Um, and then that morning we woke up and you could hear the wind howling and you're like, uh, I'm not sure that prediction <laughs> is spot on. And um, we had consistent between 23 knots, I would say, and um, you know, 25 knots of consistent breeze. Um, and we know it's gonna hold and it's not gonna die out the way they thought that maybe it was, the way we think maybe it's going to.
you don't want to compare something you love to something you hate, but you learn on the boat um, that you know your goals change, um, things happen that you weren't expecting, and you have a change of plan. Same thing with uh, with with cancer. You don't know what's going to happen the next day, the next week. Your plans change, and you have a different route. You might have to go a different way on the race course. You might have to go a different way in your life for a little bit. But the one thing is common is that you don't quit. You don't give up. No matter which way it's taking you, you're going to keep on pushing through and never quit. I want to say thank you so much for being here for the 65th running of the Sandusky Islands race. And the first running of the Sandusky Islands race, Leukemia Cup. Commodore Matt is going to present some awards for the Leukemia Cup and the um, fundraising efforts. And in first place for the teams, the more kids on sailboats at $23,050.